The Safiri Hills Volcano is an active complex stratovolcano located on a classic subduction zone on the small Caribbean island of Montserrat and overseas British territory. Montserrat Island has an area about 102 square kilometers and a previous population before the evacuation following the volcanic activity of 1995 of about 11,000 people. Formerly a quiet tourist destination, the massive volcano had remained dormant since the 17th century before reawakening in 1995, nearly 350 years later. Since it is a composite volcano, explosions tend to be more violent and dangerous. The Safiri Hills Volcano, positioned in the northern half of the small island and standing tall at 915 meters, produces andesitic lava domes which have fallen into a pattern of dome growth and then episodes of collapse which result in pyroclastic flows, ash venting, and explosive eruptions. In mid-1995, the major activity began as swarms of earthquakes struck the small Caribbean island, followed by eruptions of dust and ash. Then, on July 18, 1995, the eruption began with a phoretic eruption when the groundwater is heated into steam by the magma and results in an explosion of steam, rock, ash, water, and pyroclastic bombs. The initial dome growth began later that year inside the English crater formed nearly 4,000 years ago through an eruption. Pyroclastic flows then began to ravage the island in 1996, causing major destruction. These pyroclastic flows would continue to destroy airports and towns following into the next year. The effects of the volcano were severe. Much of the island was destroyed, but due to the evacuation, no one was killed in the 1995 eruption, though there were 19 casualties two years later after the 1997 eruption. The island's capital city of Plymouth was completely destroyed, buried in more than 12 meters of mud along with 20 other settlements. Also among the destroyed were Plymouth's airport and docking facilities. Nearly two-thirds of Montserrat's population were forced to flee, and the entire southern part of the island was evacuated after being declared uninhabitable and unsafe for travel. Following the destruction of Plymouth, over half of the population left the island permanently. Housing on the island lacked and the economy was disrupted by the eruption and left in a very poor condition. Though the economy has since benefited from the volcano-related tourism, two-thirds of the island were covered in ash. Farmland and schools and the only hospital on the island were destroyed. Multiple destructive floods occurred in, in valleys being clogged with ash, and forest fires raged from the pyroclastic flows. While the volcano remains active, it has shown little activity since the last eruption in 2010. With the volcano currently active though, there is definitely a great risk for a future eruption and other volcanic hazards such as ash and pyroclastic flows. But one of the world's most modern volcano observatories, the MVO, has been installed on the island and while largely unknown prior to 1995, Safiri Hills Volcano now counts as one of the best monitored active volcanoes worldwide. By the year 2000, such was the devastation and the danger from future eruptions that the southern part of Montserrat was declared an exclusion zone. People who lived in it had to move to the north of the island, or, as 9,000 people decided to, move abroad. Two-thirds of the country had been closed down. In fact, there was a point recently when the government thought the whole island might have to be evacuated. The behaviour of the volcano posed such a threat that there was a chance that Montserrat would end up as a ghost island.